Right, I just wanted to do a really quick video on this, the DJI Osmo Action 2, and a little trick that, a uh, trick or thing to watch out for that I discovered yesterday that uh, caught me out and could catch you out too, and that's to do with the protective case or the heat resist, the heat dissipating case that they released aftermarket for this. And one of the things that I, well, let me get to tell you what happened. So I uh, had come back from another swim using this. Obviously this is the waterproof part of the Osmo Action 2 and this is the battery pack slash screen. They click click together like that somehow. I mean it's, a, it's sort of a an interesting situation. Anyway, so I'd come back, I'd use that and after every swim I always almost fanatically but very sensibly I think wash everything with clean water I wash uh, the Osmo Action 1 that I also use and obviously my case and all the other bits and pieces that I use when I'm going for a swim um, and all fine and dandy and then so the other thing that I do is when I come some construction work going on the other thing I do is I connect the base section to that and I transfer the images that are on the internal memory of this device onto the SD card there so I, this is full or I, I empty the internal memory onto the SD card I've got a full internal memory to use for the next swim and also it recharges the battery in there from the base all well and good so far yesterday I did that plugged it in and it said no SD card inserted if you're like me I say I talk to the machine and I say yes there is there's an SD card and so I tried another construction Finally. So I tried another SD card in there and very quickly determined that it was the camera that was at fault and not the SD card. So I had a little bit of a fiddle with it, I played around with it and I pushed the, um, the camera out of its protective housing and I realised that it was becoming corroded and that between the the housing and the camera the accumulation of less than a week's worth of salt water had um, started to corrode the contacts that are in there at the bottom of the camera and which which contact with the contacts inside the case now the reason that happened even though I diligently wash all my stuff is that I never take I never have a reason to take that out of its little case uh, when you think about the, the uh, Action 1 or GoPro, which I've used before, you always have a reason to take it out of uh, the, the little case that it, it sits in because you want to change the battery or take the SD card out or any of those number of things, reasons why you take it out of the case. With this one, you have no reason to take it out of the case, so it's very easy to forget to wash those contacts and well to wash all of the salt water out of there and to clean it up now obviously i don't know if you can see that you probably can't because that's out of focus but i'll i'll put a little shot in here of it that's already corroded and that's after less than a week of it being in contact with the salt water and the sand and all those nasty things that that will quickly corrode so i'm going to have to clean that up with a little bit of uh, very fine sandpaper or something like that and that's fine it still works uh, once I'd clean that up a little bit it recognized the SD card and started working again but really important that uh, every time you clean it as you should do every time you take something for a swim in the salt water or anywhere really but particularly in the salt water is to take that out of its case 
and make sure you give it a good wash and in probably in fact to store it outside construction work has started up again I'm going to finish it there even though the construction work has started again uh, because that's the main point that I want to make is to always take that out of the case when you've gone for a swim to give it a good clean don't end up like I did after less than a week where it's all corroded I don't know if you can see that but uh, yeah not not a great scenario for what is probably an overcomplicated uh, action cam I'm really pleased to see that the DJI Osmo Action 3 now has gone back to its kind of original form factor because this is so simple so easy to use and uh, never has well touch wood has never had any problems um, this although I like it and it's really cute and it uh, works well when it works well um, the overcomplication of it has led to this particular problem. That's it. Quick video. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Take a break. Take a break already.